dear friends today i am explaining some mcq that is multiple choice questions of bsc second year semester 4 paper number 9 physical and inorganic chemistry section a physical chemistry of the swami ramanand tirtha marathwada university nandit under this paper that is the paper number 9 there are four units amongst of that unit one is chemical kinetics on this chemical kinetics i am explaining some mcq that is multiple choice questions for you first question that is first mcq reaction rate can change with there are four options option a reactant concentrations option b the addition of catalyst option c temperature option d all of the above reaction rate can change with all these options that is the reactant concentration is also responsible for the change in rate of the reaction catalyst is also increasing or decreasing the rate of the chemical reaction temperature is also increasing the rate of the reaction means these are the all factors which are affecting the rate of reaction and hence the option is d that is all of these then from it we have question 1 option correct option is all of these then next mcq as the temperature of the reaction is increased the rate of the reaction increases due to dash dash in this question it is made clear that whenever the temperature is increases the rate of the reaction is also increases and why it is so because whenever temperature increases the kinetic energy of the molecules which are taking part in the chemical reaction that is increasing and due to that reason the rate of reaction increases at the same time activation energy is also increasing what are the four options that is given that we have to see once again i am repeating the question as the temperature of reaction increases the rate of reaction increases due to dash dash what is the reason behind it why the rate of reaction increases on increasing the temperature option a reactant molecule collide less frequently with greater energy reactant molecules collide less frequently reactant molecules collide with greater energy activation energy is lowered means whenever temperature increases the activation energy is lowered that is the correct option activation energy means the minimum amount of energy required to react the reactants after increasing temperature activation energy is lowered and due to that reason on increasing temperature activation energy is lowered and that reaction shows the progress in the other rate of reaction goes on increasing next option the next uh, mcq for a reaction a giving product a graph of concentration a versus time t is found to be a straight line the order of reaction is a zero order reaction options are second order b option first order c option zero order d option third order amongst of these zero order is a correct option that is the option c the rate constant for a reaction depends upon the following except the humidity option a humidity b temperature c concentration of reactants d nature of the reactants amongst of these four options or these four factors the humidity does not related with the rate constant 
and hence the option is A, that is the humidity. Next MCQ, which concentration plot is linear for the first order reaction dash dash where A is one of the reactant option A, concentration of A versus time T, B option square root of concentration A versus time Option C, concentration of A versus time is concentration A square versus time. Option D, ln concentration of A versus time T. Amongst of these four options, option D is correct one. That is the ln concentration A versus time T. As temperature increases, the rate of reaction is also increasing. That is the answer. Option uh, question is as temperature increases, the rate of reaction dash dash. Option A decrease the then increase increases. C decreases. D stays the same. Option B is correct. That is the rate of reaction goes on increasing on increasing the temperature. Why is a minimum energy required for an effective collision option a minimum energy is needed so that the particles will collide many times per second b energy is needed to orient the particles correctly c energy is needed to break bonds d enough energy is needed to give off heat in a reaction. In this case, option C is correct one, that is the energy is needed to break the bonds. In this case, option C is correct, that is the energy is needed to break the bonds. High minimum energy is required for an activation for an effective collision. It is necessary or it is required minimum energy to break the bonds. Then next option, then next MCQ. What happens when molecules collide with less than the activation energy required for the reaction? Means what? Whenever the molecules are colliding with each other, and whenever the energy associated with them is less than that of the activation energy, that is the minimum energy required to react the reactants, then what will happen? Option A, they stick together but do not react. B, they react but more slowly. C, they do not react. They simply bounce off each other. D, they react if the bonds are arranged in the Correct orientation. Orientation. Answer C. This is the option that is the correct option for the given question. What is the question? What happens when molecule collide with the with less than the activation energy required for the reaction? Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required to react the reactants or to proceed the reaction. That minimum amount is necessary that called the activation energy. Whenever the colliding molecules are colliding with each other, less than, than, less than that of the activation energy, then they do not react. They simply bounce off each other. This option is correct. Then, next unit, that is the unit third and fourth, that is the electrochemistry. Specific conductance is the conductance of A, option A, 1 gram of solid electrolyte, 1 centimeter cube of solid electrolyte, 1 gram of solution of electrolyte, 1 cubic centimeter of solution of an electrolyte. The option D is correct one. Specific conductance is nothing but the conductance of 1 cubic centimeter of the solution of electrolyte. And hence, the option D is correct one. Then the next MCQ, 
that is the multiple choice question the equivalent conductance of a solution of an electrolyte is dash dash once again i am repeating the question the equivalent conductance of a solution of an electrolyte is option a decreases with the dilution increases with the dilution c option does not vary with the dilution d none of these option b is correct one why it is so because the whenever the equivalent conductance of a solution of an electrolyte increases with the dilution equivalent conductance is a conductance whenever we are dissolving one gram equivalent of the given substance into the 1 liter for example for the nh whenever we are dissolving the 30 grams of the nh into the 1 liter then what happens a number of ions that is the na plus and oh minus which are forming that are too much one and due to that is what happens what happens whenever the number of ions increases then there is a obstacle for the transport of that ions in the towards the appropriate electrodes means relaxation effect electrophoretic effect are playing the important role to drag the concern ion whenever it is trying to approach towards the appropriate electrodes but whenever we are diluting that solution then what happens the more and more space will become available to that ions to move towards the appropriate electrodes and to that is on the conductance increases on dilution in case of the when equivalent conductance of solution of an electrolyte is diluted or it it on dilution the conductance increases and hence the option b is correct once again i am repeating the question the equivalent conductance of a solution of an electrolyte is increases with dilution next mcq with rise in temperature the conductance of a solution of an electrolyte generally option a decreases b remains constant c increases and d none of these amongst of these option c is correct one that is the conductance increases on increasing the temperature next mcq the cell constant can be represented by option a multiplying specific conductance by equivalent conductance b dividing absorbed conductance by specific conductance c multiplying specific conductance by absorbed conductance d dividing specific conductance by absorbed conductance we will get the cell constant that is the option d is correct why it is so because cell constant is equal to specific conductance upon absorbed conductance that is matching with the option d and hence the option d is correct one then next mcq the distance between the two electrodes of a cell is 2 cm and the area of each electrode is 4 cm square the cell constant is the cell constant is given by the equation l by a l is the length and a is the area of that is the 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2 1 by 2 is nothing but the 0.5 options here given is option a 2.0 option b 1.0 option c 0.5 option d 18 hence the option c that is 0.5 is a correct answer for the problem to determine the or to find out the cell constant next mcq as per the arrhenius theory of an electrolyte as per the arrhenius theory an electrolyte when dissolved in water gives two types of option a ion pairs b molecules c charged particles d fundamental particles the option c is correct one that is the charged particles whenever electrolyte is dissolved into the water it gives the charged the particles as like naoh
whenever n a o h dissociate it gives the n a plus plus OH minus IN. Means what? Whenever electrolyte dissociates, it gives the charge the particles Na plus and OH minus. These are the charged particles which are called the ions. And hence the option C is correct one. Colder's law is stated as Colder's law is stated as lambda infinity equal to lambda a plus lambda c. Lambda infinity equal to lambda a plus lambda c. Colder's law is stated as dash dash. Option A the equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is equal to the sum of equivalent conductances of, a, of the component ions. B. The equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is equal to the difference of equivalent conductances of the component ions. C. The equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is equal to the product of equivalent conductances of the component ions. And D. None of the above. Amongst of these options, option A is the correct one. That is the equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is equal to the sum of equivalent conductances of the component ions. That is lambda infinity is equal to that is given by mathematically by, by the Colder's law lambda infinity is equal to lambda a plus lambda c. This is a mathematical statement of Colder's law. Lambda infinity equal to lambda a plus c. Means what? The equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is nothing but the sum of the equivalent conductance due to the anion plus conductance due to the cation. This is matching with the option A. Hence the answer is A. Next, Colder's law, law can be used to calculate option A. This is the for above question. Colder's law can be used to calculate the next MCQ. Colder's law can be used to calculate option A equivalent conductance at an infinite dilution of weak electrolyte. Option B absolute and mobilities. Option C Solubility of sparingly soluble salts. Option D, all of these. Option D is correct here because Colder's law is equally applicable for all these options. And hence, the option D is correct one. Next option, next MCQ. In the titration of weak acid against a weak base, there is a sharp increase in dash dash at the end point. Option A equivalent conductance, option B conductivity, option C specific conductance, option D none of these. Option B is correct one that is the conductivity. Means what? In the titration of weak acid against a weak base, there is a sharp increase in the conductivity at the end. 
then next whenever we are titrating a strong acid against a strong base the end point is the point of option d dash option a zero conductance option b minimum conductance c maximum conductance d none of the above and most of these options option b is correct one regarding the titration conductivity titration whenever we are titrating the strong acid against the strong base then there is a sh sharp end point with the help of graphical method that at that point the conductance is minimum and hence the option b is correct one next mcq which of the following postulate of de bayhackel theory is true a option a the positively charged ions are completely distributed in the solution but the cations tend to be found in the vicinity of anions and vice versa what does it means at but the de bayhackel theory it is made clear that for the strong electrolytes particularly cations that is the positive ion is surrounded by the negative ions and the negative ion is surrounded by the positive ions this is the correct one as per the de bayhackel theory then the second option the strong electrolyte is completely ionized at all dilutions that is also correct almost completely ionized it is considered in the, there option c decrease in equivalent conductance with increase in concentration is due to fall in mobilities of ions due to the intra ionic effect what does it means in the concentration when the concentration is more then what happens the conductance is low and why it is so because the ionic mobility is decreased there is a fall in the ionic mobility that is also as per the de bayhackel theory that is also correct one true one and hence the option d that is all the above options are correct option d is all the above in this case the answer all the above is correct in this way i have explained for you the different mcq that is a multiple choice questions for you for the further preparation of examination this is for the study purpose just like the model questions you use it is as a question bank for the thorough study best of luck thank you